Hello all you YouTubers out there. This is Nikiba and I've had some requests to show how I make my cozy cocoon um, slippers and so um, I haven't really ever really done instructions or really written patterns so we're going to work on this together. And so this is the type of yarn that I use to make um, most of the, the slippers that that I have videos of it's the Red Heart brand and I use the uh, 7 ounce um, skeins and um, and this is a brown and I believe that this color we're going to be using this color eventually it's going to be an add-on color and uh, it's called coffee if you can see that anyway um, I'm going to be working with a size uh, 7 to an 8 lady size uh, tall cocoon that I make and I'm going to use the crochet needle eye and you have to excuse the background noise because I do have my grandkids and they're in the other part of the house and and they get kind of um, noisy so um, let's get started okay getting started um, I decided we're going to make uh, a cream crochet with um, a royal blue. I've already had these yarns. Already I had worked with them on uh, <clears throat> some other ones. So we're going to use this. This one is not the royal blue and this is a buff color of the, of the red heart yarn. We're going to use the size I crochet needle. And, um, and we're going to decorate it with a ribbon and so I have this um, what is that? Can you see that? It's um, a jumbo roll and it's got 10 yards in it and it costs about two sixty-seven. you can get it at Walmart or Hobby Lobby but it's a, a cream colored ribbon and we're going to use that to decorate it at the in the front when we finish making the um, the tall style cocoon and so we're going to get started get that out of the way and we're going to start with the blue we're going to decorate the bottom the foot part the toe part of it with the blue and up the front so um, I start with two <coughs> strands together and and then you get your your loop started and um, I do it the old-fashioned way. I know I've seen different people start a different way, but we're going to get that loop on the the needle there, and um, and I and I like to use have about four inches um, a tail from the beginning, and then that way that you can weave it in and tie it off, you know, on on your work. And then we're going to put two more chains on that loop. There's one and then there's two. Can you see that? So you have three chains on the hook. Then we're going to just take that we're going to hold that at the, the tail base there and we're going to put five crochets, single crochets in that first loop. There's one and there's two and there's three and four and five okay and then we're going to pull that through then we're going to get the tail out of the way and we're going to go up to that's that first beginning loop and we're going to stick it through and we're going to pull up get that tail out of the way and we're going to pull up and get the tension on your on your yarn and you hold that base and you pull it up and then so you got one single crochet in there and in that same one we're going to put three we're going to put three single crochets in each crochet that we put in the, each of the five that we put around so that's one and then two get my yarn going here and I hold it like this 
two and three. And it'll be a total of 15 in, the, in all. Then we're going to go to the next one, three in that one. And that's four. And I count them that way. Five. And the same one. Six. So there's six single crochets so far in the first two crochets. And then there's seven. <coughs> eight. nine okay and then we're going to go to the next single crochet stick that in there and then that's ten eleven twelve okay <clears throat> and then you're going to go to that last one look at find it in there Hard to kind of hard to see, but get that in there. And that's 13. Whoops, we're gonna start over on that one. 13, 14, and then 15. Let me pull my yarn, it's getting tight out of the skein there because it's a used skein and this is <clears throat> that part is your um, joining loop so we're gonna gonna kind of skip over that <clears throat> some people chain one and um, so for your sake I'm gonna chain one and I don't always chain one and then we're gonna go into that first crochet and then we're gonna pull it up we're going to crochet one. Okay. And then we're going to, I'm going to get a marker for every one. So I'm going to just get a color of the, the cream and I'm going to just clip it off about four inches so you can see that. You see that? And we're going to use that as a marker. So pull that out and right behind that single crochet you will put in there. I just like to make it easy for you all to see and we're going to get the tail of that. We're going to swing that around and pull it through there. You don't have to pull it tight. Just kind of put it on there. So you have, so it's actually behind that chain one we're going to start that marker. So we have 15 crochets on the hook. We can count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Did you see that? Okay, just a moment.